Hi, I'm Luke Atfield. I'm joined here by Matt Mayer, Aston Villa correspondent here at Expressing Star. Matt, 2-0 win. What did you make of the game? Well, it was eventful. Um, I mean, it, there wasn't a huge amount of, uh, of quality on show, aside from perhaps Jonathan Codger. Uh, but it was an eventful game, uh, entertaining uh, in its own right. Not sure if Carlos Carvajal's blood pressure has, has yet come down. Uh, Chef Wednesday boss obviously sent off, sent to the stands in the second half after Vincent Sasso was dismissed. But yeah, it's four wins in five from, from Villa now. And there's, I think the big thing to take away from this game is, you know, they're coming with a lot of injuries. You know, the team kind of almost picked itself. And Henry, Henry Lansbury gets injured in the warm up. Nathan Baker goes off after 25 minutes. Uh, but, you know, there's a resilience about this side now that I think that maybe a month ago they wouldn't deal with setbacks in that way. But, you can see the new players that have come in, it's all kind of coming together a bit and you know it's a bit too late in the season really sadly for a for a push towards the uh, towards the top six but you know things definitely move in the, in the right direction, the, the shoots of recovery mm. I think are there to see. Yeah and you touched on Jonathan Codger, obviously scored both goals today, where would Villa be without one man? Well they'd be in, in, a, in a lot of trouble, I think the, the manager's already said that um, several times you know He's constantly the kind of the source of inspiration, and you know, it's 15 goals now in the league this season. So he needs five in the last nine games to, uh, to become the first Villa player since since Peter Weir to score 20 league goals in a season. Albeit this will be in the you know, the second tier, but I mean that's still some going. Uh, you know, and you can see the, what the, the reaction when Villa spent all that money on him. Mm. But it, it's money well spent because it's probably going to keep them um, in the division. I mean, it'd be, they'd be a very different team without him. So it's always kind of you know, but but certainly his, his goals would be uh, have been vital. Um, you know, he scored a, a really good opening goal, a header. Um, you know, I mean, he's, there's there's not too many. You know, areas that he that he isn't quite you know good at. I mean, he's, he's clearly he's still quite. He's, you still wonder you know how much he can improve. He's still quite raw in many many respects. Um, still kind of a few rough edges to iron out, but he, you know he's. He always seems to be in the you know the, the right place, at the right time. And the, the second goal was a, a really you know classy goal, really you know great finish, one on one with the keeper. Kieran West was a good keeper, uh, took it round him and scored. You know at a time when you know Villa were sitting on a one nil lead and, and though the opposition were down to ten men, he never he never caught comfortable with that one goal and, and really it kind of made the, the end of the game. Yeah, quite, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose the one worry for Steve Bruce is that it was pretty much a makeshift squad. And toward toward the especially after Nathan Baker went down, we saw two right backs and two left backs on the yeah, pitch. Yeah, but bizarrely, and midfielder bizarrely and it worked. It, it worked. In, in you know, I thought James Bree and, and Alan Hutton did well down the right. They seem to be kind of exchanging mm. who play right back, who play play right wing. But it, you know, it actually it actually worked. And I thought Mila Yedinak was. I mean, Kodja will be the obvious kind of choice of man of the match. But I thought Mila Yedinak was outstanding. Um, in the centre of defence. I mean, bizarrely, we were having a conversation with somebody else only about a week ago whether Yedinak would end up back in in, in yeah. defence because maybe he doesn't get around the park quite as well as he as he used to, and he does play that role set in front of the back four. But I mean, you know, he, he, it was an interesting interesting move to bring Hutton on. You know, you've got two centre backs on the bench mm. in, in Richards and Elphick, but it works. Yedinak was uh, was outstanding. He wins so much in the. Uh, in the air, and uh, you know Villa, you know, you know Wednesday are a good side. They weren't at their best today. Sending off was obviously was, was yeah. huge. Uh, that really, you know, lessened their hopes of getting back into the game. But I thought Villa were, you know, good value for the for the for the win in the end. Mm. Um, was it a red card, do you reckon? I think so. Yeah, I think you, you know, you look at the two-footed challenge, studs up. I mean, you know, bizarrely, I was watching uh, <laughs> watching some highlights of a. Of an old game uh, last night, yeah. uh, Alan Thompson used to play for Villa. Went in for, yeah. when he played here, went in for a, for a challenge and stood showing, you know. And it was a, it was it was wasn't even a, you know, it wasn't even blunders of foul. And you're thinking, you know, in this day and age, that would be a, a straight red card. Yeah. But you can't. I mean, it was a poor challenge. Thankfully, Conor Huron has come away from it. Mm. Carlos Carvajal has, has provided some of the best entertainment the seen down here Definitely. all season with his kind of reaction. Uh, and then when he got sent off, um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was interesting, uh, but you know, it was a, it was a really kind of uh, you know entertaining game. Um, you know, Villa and Villa fans have every right to feel there should be a lot higher up in this league. Mm. Um, you know, the club have spent a lot of money this season. You know, and, and this recent good run does not really make up for you know what's been a pretty underwhelming campaign. 
but I think you can, there's definitely signs here they're moving in the right direction. Uh, the players that have come in are, are you know, kind of pulling together. I thought Hurahan had another pretty decent game. Mm. You know, yeah. gets in, you know, Villa, it's a long time since Villa have had a player who gets into the box. You know, like he does, you know, he's missed another good chance today, but he's, he's there, there or thereabouts. Yeah. Um, you know, and Albert Adoma did well, you know, up front. I thought he was quite poor at Huddersfield. You know, kind of he's been one of the more creative players this season, but he mm. kind of bounced back. Bruce actually said that he feels that they played better on Tuesday night, losing at Huddersfield. That's only defeat in five games, and I probably agree with him. Yeah. Uh, but you know, they, they found a way to, to now start, you know, winning games. And, and you know, when you look at the the opponents they've beaten this season, you know, they've not beaten too many teams of the, the calibre of, of Wednesday. Mm. And uh, it all goes well, really, for, for kind of next season. Yeah. Um, you know, and you know the injuries in a way. It's have not been helpful, but they've kind of the way they've responded to them has been encouraging. Definitely. So if Steve Bruce keeps this squad together over the summer, keeps the likes of Codger and stuff at the club, is there a realistic chance that it's going to be an automatic promotion? I think it has year? to be. I mean, with the way the the way the finances work out and the money that's been spent, it has to be an automatic promotion challenge next season or promotion challenge next season mm -hmm. rather. Um, you know, there's no question about that, and you know. It's going to take a bit more kind of refinement, but they've got the they've got the raw ingredients. You know, you can see now they've got a you know the goalkeeper is a huge uh, question mark for the summer. Johnson's here on loan. He's looking a lot more confident now. Four clean sheets in, in five games, just the one goal conceded uh, in five. You can see him start. He's starting to be a, you know kind of a bit more like the keeper we thought mm -hmm. we expected uh, he'd be. But obviously he's on loan. That'll be the big question of the summer. Otherwise, you can see that the spine of the team is starting to it's starting to come together. You know, it's uh, the manager just described it in there as kind of the, the, the you know kind of the initial the shoots of recovery, just the initial shoots of recovery. That's probably all it is. But you know, the, you can just feel that that bit of um, bit of momentum you know behind them now. It'd be interesting to see how they how they finish the season. That's got to be the target now. Um, you know, top half now into the top half for the first time since uh, since January. So it's got to be the aim now is to, to finish the season as strongly as possible and, and hopefully carry that into into next season. Great. So Villa win two 0 All smiles here next season. Could there be a promotion push for all the post-match reaction? Uh, go to expressandstar.com. <laughs>